If somebody is earning well, working 12 hours, 14 hours a day, somebody who is trying to become a minister and acquire power, somebody want to become famous so that his names are printed in the newspapers and he come on the media, almost everything we can connect with happiness. Everything which gives us happiness only we do. But why people are not happy? And particularly those who have achieved what they wanted to achieve or those who are wealthy, why they are not happy? So first of all, let us see what is happiness and what are the different components of happiness. Happiness is actually having multiple components. Happiness is having an you know, internal component which is faith, contentment, peace, love, wisdom and health. So happiness is very very subjective. You ask somebody then, uh, you know, uh, people may say sometimes they are happy, somebody say how to measure it. It's not like a blood pressure that you can measure and say this guy is happy or this guy is not happy. But broadly speaking, the people who are having trust and faith on the people, that they trust people, the people who are contented in whatever they are having. If they are billionaire, they are happy. If they are earning 10,000, they are happy. If they are earning 1 lakh, they are happy. Then they are, those people are then be happy. They are peaceful. In fact, peace is very important because I find that peace, uh, peace is something which is a very integrated part of happiness. And peace, dekhe kab hota? peace we are having, uh, there is a two type of conflict. One is the external conflict which is going on in this world. We are fighting one religion, fighting another religion, one group, rich versus poor, village versus, you know, all these conflicts are going on. And at the same time, there is an internal conflict also which is going on inside. Aapka dil kuch aur gata hai, dimaag kuch aur gata hai, karna kuch aur chaate hai, ho kuch aur jata hai. So there is a conflict inside also. Aap, even for your own self, आप चाहते हैं कि आप सुबह उठ करके पढ़ाई करें आप उठ नहीं पाते आप चाहते हैं कि आप कोई भी काम करें आप कर नहीं पाते तो आप अंदर ही अंदर अपने को मतलब ना आप देखिए आपके अंदर ही कॉन्फ्लिक्ट चल रहा है सो दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट टेक्स अवे द पीस सो समबडी हु इज पीसफुल इट सिंपली मींस दैट देयर इज अ फ्रेंडशिप बिटवीन हिज हार्ट एंड हेड दैट मींस दिस बॉडी सोल एंड हिज माइंड are integrated with each other, they are happy with each other. It's like a family, it's a happy family. Because when they are not happy with each other, then there is a conflict. So why it is important? Because you should know why the things are happening. There is a very famous saying in French, um, they say that to understand all, to forgive all. See, whenever we feel very angry, whether it is against a politician, whether it is against a country, whether it is against your friend, whether it is against your own uh, you know, son, daughter, whatever, it is generally because of the lack of understanding. If we understand a person as what he is, why he is doing what he is doing, then we will not be angry and we will be able to forgive him because we will understand why somebody is doing what he is doing. So that is a very famous French proverb that says to understand all is to forgive all. You cannot forgive unless you understand the people. So that is why the wisdom is important because wisdom is the knowledge or the type of, you know, it's a knowledge of knowledge as this and then health. Health is very very important component of happiness because if you don't have good health, <coughs> you are perennially suffering from health, then mind and body are connected. Even Buddha said that healthy mind resides in only in healthy body. Then it has an external feature also. This is something which is I think many people can correlate, but many people think that you know I can get the happiness whenever I want because I can develop contentment in myself. But I have a disagreement. I believe that this happiness also is related to external achievements and external success. For example, if you are working in a particular organization and you are unable to deliver the job which has been given to you and your boss fires, or suppose your son, daughter is failing or he has become a drug addict, just giving an example, then is it possible for you to just feel happy? It's not possible. You have to, our internal is connected with the external. Unless we have these external sources also, reasonably fulfilled, I am not saying that you should be successful in the sense that you should become the Prime Minister or the Mukesh Amari, but at least a reasonable amount of success so that you are having a sufficient, whatever little job you are doing, you are getting a success on that. So wealth is also important because wealth, without wealth, you, how can you feel yourself? If you don't eat food, then you will know what you will do. If you don't eat food, you will be able to feed yourself. Then you require uh, comfort. If suppose you are working in a particular job where the whole night you have to awake. The type of job is that 12 hours you have to work or there is a random working hour that you are not able to sleep and there is no comfort in your life. 
then naturally you cannot be happy. Power is important because without power you cannot, you know, get the burden. It doesn't mean that you have to be a minister, but certain level of power you, you require. You require the knowledge. Why knowledge is required? Because you should know what, why something happens. It's like uh, I give an example <coughs> that you know, for example, when you are going in a uh, a particular place, suppose you have to come to Kanat place. Kanat place is a Malaya bar and chicken bar, and there is a traffic jam. When there is a traffic jam, you are very tired. Whether you will be able to reach that destination on time or not, or before you start, whether you will be able to reach a particular time, you don't know whether you will be able to reach on time. But as you are going to say, Google Map is on there. Google Map is on there. You have to reach in 3 minutes a traffic jam, and then you will be able to reach in 15 minutes. And my experience is, if you tell me 15 minutes, then you will reach in 15 minutes. And my experience is, if you tell me 15 minutes, then you will reach in 15 minutes. And my experience is, if you tell me 15 minutes, then you will reach in 15 minutes. What it knows not only what you can see immediately, but it knows what is you know there after one kilometer, two kilometer, five kilometer, ten kilometer, and so its prediction is very very accurate. So similar analogy we can see that in our life, suppose we know the different stages. In that situation, we will be not be worried because we know. अब जैसे जुखाम हो गया, तबीयत आपकी खराब हो गई, फीवर आ गया, आपको मालूम है यार इसमें तो तीन दिन का समय लगना है, तीन दिन के बाद भी ठीक हो जाएगा. You will not be worried, but suppose आपको नहीं मालूम that there is a cure of it. You will be totally not, totally worried, and same little bit of recognition is also important. So these are the external, internal component, and our life is like this. You know, just like you need two wings to fly, we have to have an internal uh, satisfaction, external satisfaction. Both have to be integrated toward each other. Then only we can achieve success.